So the criteria, uh, you should have those pulled uh, up. Where is it? So oh, I'm going to go, go back to that other slide real quick. Let me get there properly so that I'm not. There, there it is. Go. There it is. Safe. <laughs> yeah. Because we have some slides we that we're some, not. Peter, sure. shout out to Peter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Peter listens to our podcast. I think he knows, he knows what we talk it. about. Yeah. Generally. Some of the people we spoke with at Google, uh, we're going to talk about the event here in a minute, but some of the people we spoke with there, like clearly do listen to this. Um, Which is, I just don't think that Peter listens to it. Yeah. He's PR. He's, <laughs> yeah. I think he's like, eh, as long as you're not saying anything, he's not supposed to, I don't yeah. have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Peter sent over a ton of stuff. Shout out to him. He organized this whole event and it was fantastic. We're going to talk about it in a second, but here are the guaranteed hardware specs for Chromebook plus. I love that logo. So and look much. at the logo. Mm. Um, so the guaranteed specs, Intel core I three above, uh, which includes this I three, the N three Oh five that's in this device. If you want to hear more about that, go watch our video or read the post about the slim three. I I'm obviously going to link that in the show notes, but uh, eight gigs of memory. And I love that they, they present this. We're going to show the video, um, here in just a second. That I think they we'll show us, that next probably. Yeah. Uh, at the, at the event, which I was just like, I it was, that. I'm a Chromebook and, nerd. And I'm we just, just, I'm absolutely a Chromebook nerd. So like I'm rooting for like this event to go well. And so I watch this video. I'm like, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a it's teaser. Just, uh, it's, it's just a, for us. For, it's just a for real Chromebooks. commercial for us. <laughs> right, for Chromebooks. We don't have to talk about pixels and no offense to pixels and good, the Google hardware team. Good right. job. Do, you know, do you, you do thing. a great job, whatever, but this is but, for us. Yeah. This is Chromebook stuff. And it was so exciting. We were getting, we, we were, borderline giddy at the event oh, I, I, I was so there happy. were there were times there were t- like i think we started the Woo! clap <laughs> yeah, yeah and we started the clap yeah several times like you it, know something would finish and there's kind of that moment of where everyone's like am i gonna clap do we clap or and or we're like yeah <laughs> awesome <Let's go! laughs> love it yeah because i mean it was like it was just cool. To, man, we'll, we're we'll going to get into the actual event. All right. <laughs> back back to the it. specs. But they kept talking about 2X, 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 2X. Which was nice. Um, nice graphic. And I was, my nerdy self was sitting when they were talking about the display resolution. I was like, is that 2X? I don't is know that, if that's yeah, 2X. It is 2X, actually. Is 2X. Because if you think, if you double. So in my mind, I was like, wait, no. 1440 is 2X of a, of a standard HD. So 720p. It's but not. you talking Quad HD is 4X. Yeah. So 2X is 1080p. Uh, right. I think 1080p is a little more than 2X if you do the math. But um, so yeah, at least an i3 or above. And so that means devices like this, the i3 that's in this, the N305, small core, yes, but very capable core i3 processor in this device, in the Slim 3i in front of me. Um, or the Ryzen 7000 series, which is what's in the CM 34 that we just reviewed. And I promise you, I promise you, we didn't do these, well, this one kind of, but the timing just kind of worked out for those last two videos to have come out right before this. It wasn't like we knew exactly what was going on. We really didn't. The, uh, the, the, this one here, and, and you said it earlier, but we had very I'm just like, strong I'm, ideas. See the writing that, on the wall. Like, you know? This thing's going to be Chromebook Plus. So yeah. like that's why... The, the thumbnail, the title, everything was was we alluding to that. that. We sure. were playing into it, and but we didn't know for sure. Like they could did have not said, know for sure. It's a Slim Three I, whatever or whatever different and it could version, have been a very different version. And we pick it up and be like, damn, they should have used the like whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know for sure, um, and we had a strong feeling that the CM thirty four was going to be based on some of those leaks that happened. Kyle had found that one thing that got pulled that had I think eight uh, code names in it. Um, and those things aren't exactly for sure. Like there's a code name for the Asus. I think that, um, we have that device. I think it's the CX 34. It's similar code name, I think. Uh, so it's like, it, that doesn't totally give the whole thing away. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, so 1080 P screen, um, uh, Intel core I three and above. Uh, and I think they're saying 12th gen and above. So I don't, Ooh, I don't know if they have generation on there. So I mean, 11th gen may work too. Um, I'll have to find out about that specifically, but I think they're just saying core I3 mm-hmm. and above, but that gets dicey because you could have eighth or 10th gen core I3s. But I think a 10th gen core I3 would still be fine. Uh, it, we've done some tests, like the small core core I3 in this uh, sits about right with a 10th gen core I3, core I5. So whatever, we'll find yeah. out about that. But the idea being Intel Core chips, you're not getting the the super low end stuff um, or the AMD Ryzen. Anything above that's fine. Eight gigs of RAM, so the two X RAM. So entry level Chromebooks have always had four gigs for a while. I don't say always. We 
pissed and moaned about two gig shit. Like if you can remember four oh. or five years ago, there were two gig Chromebooks coming out. <laughs> two. If like, you open up, if it. you open up five tabs, you're done. done. <laughs> you're Toast. done. It's Just like, don't I, even uh, try anymore. It's like the Chromebook ADD version. <laughs> like I can't remember all of that all at the same time. Yeah. You're trying to do four things. I can only remember three things at a time. Yep. Um, so yeah, bump up to four gigs. Bump up to 1080p, so that's that double 2x resolution. And they spe- specified IPS, so we're not going to get any Chromebook Pluses that have the crummy TN panels. Does it say to IPS fair, down there? I can't yeah. see it. Okay. IPS display, webcam with TNR, so um, temporal noise reduction. We'll talk about that in a second. But So IPS displays, uh, 1080p plus. So i got to keep track of all these things that you're saying we're going to talk about in a second. I don't <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually talk about like some of that stuff like, as we as we go down through some of these slides. We'll we'll get into it. That's why we're using the slides yeah, to help kind of keep guide us. narrowed here. Uh, and then they said two x storage, so 128 gigs of storage. As you again used to, we had entry level 32 gig 32, Chromebooks, man. which is just when the OS takes up like eight or nine of that. Like, and then that's you rough. and then you. I mean, there's gonna be stuff that you just download. Yeah, I mean, you know, on, you don't have to have a ton of space. Uh, 64 has always been pushing it. I think 128 gives Solid. you a lot of room. You're good. Like it's fine for a Chromebook. It's, it's really fine. Yeah. Uh, and some of these models have uh, SD card slots on them. Yeah. This one does not. Uh, say, there's plenty of USB 3.0 or 3.2. I've got Storage. one. Yeah. It's, it's itty bitty. Like it's, it's you know, have a quarter of the size of my thumb you know, thumbnail and it fits in there. Like if you really need that external storage, that's, that's fast. You can do that anyway. Uh, so yeah, that gives you your double memory. That gives you your double, um, uh, storage. It gives you double resolution and it gives you your, like they said, I think they used the verbiage of two X speed. Mm -hmm. That's just saying you're not going to get the low end processors. The little bitty arm chips aren't going to work, uh, here. Um, so they need to be proper processors. And that's about it. Like that's roughly, I don't think they, oh, the webcam has to be, so yeah, the mm-hmm. temporal noise reduction. So the webcam needs to be, I think they said 1080p as well on that. I don't know that they specified 1080p. Yeah, because we asked. Did they? We asked, so uh, we were talking at one booth, and like you said 1080p on the webcam. Does that mean a seven, like a, a Chromebook that, it was me and Kevin uh, Tofel from about Chromebooks. We were talking to one of the guys uh, at one of the little booths and, like, so does that mean if this Chromebook meets all the criteria and doesn't have a 1080p webcam, it won't be Chromebook Plus? And without batting an eye, they're like, yep. Okay. Interesting. Has to, it has to meet the criteria. So you're let's. Not, you're not casting this anymore. Oh, uh, here. Yeah, uh, I'll click back over. I'll click back over. I'm going to check. I'm going to see if there's anything down here about. I would webcam. love to share the models next. And yep. then we're, I think we almost need to do a whole nother episode on just the models and like talking yeah. through the hardware. Yeah. There's and, so much. Like, there's, there's a lot we can't even say in this one. Right. And yeah, generally, there's generally, there's. Yeah, generally, there's just this overall kind of message of Chromebook Plus that we want to focus on in this episode. Right. But the the hardware stuff, I do want to. You, we'll we'll talk about the models here in a moment, just so that you at least know which yeah, so models got, are available. The models Boom! There we are. Yeah. Work through so, them for somebody not uh, real not quick watching here. Go, if you're not I'm gonna, watching, I'm gonna, you should be over on YouTube. I'm gonna Check zoom it out. through these. So, Acer has a 515, 514. The 514's a Ryzen device. Uh, the 515 is an Intel Core i3. Uh, forgive me. There's some of these that are the i i three twelve fifteen U, so the U series, so a little bit more powerful i threes. Some of these are the core i three N three o five, so the N series. So um, for Chromebook users in general, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> like, it, I think the N series are a little more battery efficient. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I like them. Like, I haven't heard the fans kick on on that I'm, device. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I said it in that video. The, there are ports. They might just be passively passive radiating cooling, yeah, stuff. Or like there, there's no fan in there. I don't know that there's fan. This is hmm. a small core device. Anyway, mm-hmm. whatever. That's a worry for later. Uh, so two new devices from Acer. Uh, Asus uh, is one new, one old. So you got one new, the CX34. It's the CX3402. A one is the uh, Vibe Chromebook. Uh, this is a completely different device. So this is not um, some new take on... Um, the uh, vibe. I know we got Robbie and I are there. both getting phone calls. Like, what up. is happening? As long as my wife's right. not calling you, I'm no, okay. No, 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 no. This is that, that would be dad. an emergency. Uh, so yeah, the CX thirty four o two is a clamshell, all white. It's the prettiest of all the new devices for sure. 
really interesting Lot. new device uh, from Asus, and it's lots it of feels B roll like, from that one. Yeah, it feels like a completely different device. Like it doesn't where the CM34, which is the next one, the CM34 felt like the CX, the vibe, the gaming Chromebook just kind of rehashed. This thing is its own thing. Um, so you got those two from Asus. And then HP has the 15.6 inch Chromebook we pointed out before. Yavix, I think, was the code name on it. Uh, there's the cheapy one that's at Best Buy, and it's like there's no way it's Chromebook Plus. This is the Core i3 model. Um, and then you've got the X360 14C, which we have talked about before. Great in a ton of ways. Uh, a little bit too much deflection on the bottom there. Uh, it, and then does it have fingerprint scanner? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice. It's got a, got a lot of goodies. It, it's got a lot of great stuff to it. As long as you just don't grab your device from the corner a lot. Yeah, then it might be a good. And it's one not for like you. it's falling apart. But yeah, it's, it's just it's still, it clicks it clicks the trackpad. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay. Love that. Uh, <laughs> well, no, Flex Five well. I. So the it's pretty much the same as the one that's out. So the Flex Five I that's out currently with the twelfth gen internals, it's that one, fourteen inch convertible, and then Slim Three I, which is this guy. Um, and with the Core i3 inside. So those are those are your starting Chromebook Plus models. Obviously, a lot more will be incorporated, I think, in the coming couple weeks after launch. Because there's going to be, and there's going to be ones that are going to get retrofitted. Like, yeah. so I don't know how they're going to handle them. that. I don't know that any but, new models getting produced will get the new branding. I'm sure they will. They Probably. Might, might down the road, but I think it's less about that and, and more about like marketing them as part of the Chromebook Plus family. What? what and, and like get Best all the Buy, software. will they will the Best Buy name change? Maybe I think I so. Think, right, yeah. anything so that meets the category yeah. should. So Best Buy is going to have some setup apparently that that showcases Chromebook Plus and any device they have that meets that criteria, even if it doesn't have the label up top, can be marketed as Chromebook Plus. 